So we got a call for an F-150 that is off the side of the road, kind of steep angle down by Beaver Dam. We're going to head down there and see if we can get it. Got Lizzie with the weather. It's a nice, beautiful day, clear blue skies. It's probably going to get 95 today in Hurricane, but it's going to be hotter down there. So hopefully we don't sweat to death. We got Colby on the camera and on the crutches. We got Tom Tom and Jake in the Morver following us down for backup. We're going to get them out. We are following Matt. The weather here is the same as it is up there because that's how weather works. We got Jake here with hey. me. We're going back to the Utah Nevada border. Littlefield, uh, New, is it Arizona or, New, or Nevada? I think it's Arizona, but I don't really know. So we're going to follow Matt. I don't know more than that. We'll just stop when he stops. So Matt was super nice and let me pick what vehicle I wanted to drive. Today, I chose the more of air because we did some tuning and I haven't driven it since then. We also adjusted the throttle pedal and I noticed a big difference. It used to be really hard to drive because the first quarter throttle didn't do anything, but now it is super smooth and um, not getting any gas rattle. Feeling really good. I like the changes we made. We should probably get some gas, Tom. We probably should. I got like a quarter of a tank, which doesn't really mean anything to me because the gauge doesn't work. But I think we're going to stop on the other side of St. George, so we'll see you over there. Alright, we're out here to Shivwitz at the convenience store smoke shop, fueling up because we always go prepared. Today, that's what we always do. No need for a fuel report today. So this is my first job back since my fall, and right now I'm not using a crutch but you might see me using a crutch a little later because this is a little tiring. He's walking unassisted, man. Look at this guy. Doing great, Colby. I'm proud of you. I need assistance. Ice cream Are those any good? Yes. They're delicious. Lizzie says these are good, so I'm going to try one. He knew. Just like me. These are pretty good. Lizzie was right. <laughs> Told you so. All right, we are all fueled up, and we are back on the road. This way. See this thing? Oh, no, what's it doing? Getting a death wobble hard. You're getting death wobble? Yeah, for the first time ever. I don't see anything wrong. Well, one more thing to look into. All right, we made it to Beaver Dam. The customer is out that direction, four or five miles. We're going out to a little spot. We looked on the map. Google has a spot there that says, Thelma and Louise. There. Google it and see why they call it Thelma and Louise. And we're wondering if they filmed it there or maybe somebody died there and they nicknamed it or maybe it looks the same or who knows? I don't know. All right, we just got to Beaver Dam, which is actually a city or a little town. It is not a dam or anything to do with beavers. Anything on the internet about Thelma and Louise and Beaver Dam, Arizona? So Tom and I are following Matt and the crew in the banana, and we are meandering through this trailer park. I think we're lost. What do you think, Tom? I think we're lost too. <laughs> we're gonna turn around here again, see if we can find them. Yeah, Matt has his cell phone oh. in hand. Uh, oh, I think he's onto something here. Look at that. Him. We're lost. <laughs> yeah, up here, you turn. I got a razor parked up by the gate. Not my truck, it's my neighbor's. Okay. Do you he, have the keys? There, he has the keys. I made sure again, okay. he's got the keys. I got some gas, too. So that's <laughs> gas? <laughs> well, it's tilted so far that either it can't pick up fuel or the rollover yeah. switch is tripped. Okay. Oh, there it is. Holy. 
We should have brought the wrecker. That is like almost, almost a tipping over point. Man, I'd get in that thing and just drive it straight down there. Let's walk some hubs in, Lizzie. This is like really, really steep. This thing is crazy stuck up here. It is way off the side of a very steep road. This is gonna be interesting. And it's way off, man. It's not right on the edge. It's like way over the edge. And we made it. I don't exactly know what happened, but it's coming down off the road. There's some tracks right here. Looks like it went hind tire right here, front tire up there, and then it slid down like five feet. It is almost, almost to the tipping point. Like if I were to go push on it, maybe, but it might tip over. What are your thoughts on this, just looking at it? This is the most, like, steepest angle I have seen us recover something on. This is pretty crazy here. Yeah. All right, we want both vehicles pointed downhill. Okay. Banana in front of the Morver. So I'll, I'll drive up and turn around up behind you? Yeah. Can you tell us how this happened? Come down too fast without four-wheel drive and tap the brakes and it just slid out yeah. from under me. That must have been scary. Oh, it was terrifying. I bailed out. <laughs> I, said, if it's going, I it probably go would have too. We're gonna rig a snatch block through the wheel on the rear. Then you'll come back to come back to this point. Okay. So you're gonna need a hard shackle and then a soft shackle and a so, thing. Okay. Which way? You, what are you trying to go? How, how do you see this coming out? It's coming straight back up this way. So you're gonna come up. The same way it went off. You're not gonna go down. Well, we might. So You're gonna it, move it and see what it but does. But we win if we get it on the road and we pass if we get it on the bottom. Tom, we may, I may have changed my mind where you're hooking back to the Morver. I think we're gonna wanna be low. That's what I'm doing here. I'm holding the camera straight up and down. This kind of shows you the angle. I don't want you to back up. To get up. This, yeah, just to get this tight. Yeah. That's clear to the floor. Get stuck there, good. All right, the plan here is both of these rigs together weigh more than that truck, and I'm hoping that's enough. Tom, can you get me an angle on that truck? Now. That's a big 10 4. Okay. I've got the angle finder on the front of the truck here. I'm gonna guess 33 degrees. I've got 65. Wow! I was off by 50%. It, it, it ain't gonna move. I got the door. Okay. You there? Yeah, I'm in neutral. Parking brake off? Yeah. Okay, come on out. So we don't have enough lead to do this. It's dragging both of our rigs off. I was a little bit worried about that. I really wanted to drag this up on the road, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pivot it downhill and we're gonna take it off down there. Okay, Lizzie, I'm gonna need you in the truck. Mm, that's scary. It won't be. Yes, it will. Okay, let's try that. You don't have to get in right now. We can get it swung a little bit right now. Oh, I think we're gonna get it. That's just not, just not the way I wanted to. Okay, Lizzie, go jump in it and turn the wheel hard to the right. How does that feel? Better? Uh, I don't know. The hardest you can. <laughs> want all those I'm miles. starting to come over the edge. Okay, the now we're gonna go down. Keep yeah. going. Hard to the right. Hard to the right, Lizzie. That's as far as it would go. Okay, you're, you're still turned to the left, so keep, keep pressure trying on it. As keep it... trying as we go, so never stop trying. Okay. 
Turn, turn the wheel to the right while you're trying to start. Okay. Let's go out just a little bit. We need to get her. I'm gonna. Okay, put put tension back on yours. Okay, right there. You might need to let this out a little bit. Off. Yeah, let let it out just a little bit. Okay, tighten it up a little. Okay. Woo! Lizzie, you're off the brakes? Yeah. Okay, set it out. Let me go see what, I'm gonna go see what's in front of that right front tire. Up. If I let her out, she might move now. I saw it. I saw it coming. Okay, let's let a little bit out. Okay, hold the brake. My anxiety levels for Lizzie right now. Are oh, really? Off yeah. the charts. I'm off. All you have to do is just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, Lizzie, control your speed slowly. I'm just letting you have it. Stop. Stop. Okay. Yeah, just hold the brake. Hold the brake tighter. Put it in park. See if it'll start. Stop. Battery's, Battery's dead. Okay, let's just keep going. How's it going, Lizzie? I had to roll this window down. It was so hot. I'm like sweating bullets like I don't know if it's just hot or because I'm just like on a roller coaster going straight down maybe a little of both probably both yep I want that thing to stop somewhere I don't have 20 feet of cable I'm pretty much done right there let's sing the line you you want to repel yeah just okay I'll free will it <laughs> I'll belay you Well, I ran out of winch line, so we're gonna single line this now. Okay, keep going until the banana slacks a little bit. All right, it's okay. working. Okay, I wanna put the banana line on it too. Straight on? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna unhook. Okay, that should tension up good. I hope that I... makes me feel real good seeing rocks just roll all the way to the bottom. Okay, Lizzie, parking brake off, put it in neutral. You're at a slight angle. I know, this is me sitting straight up. Whoa. Can you hold it? Can you jump out and unhook Tom's line? Alright, we're moving. If these start coming down, run sideways. Okay, just get back in position. Okay, we're going to let this out a little bit. Put it in. Neutral, hold the brake tight. Control your speed. Power stop if you can. 
Stop if you can. Okay. Can you stop? Okay, so you're fully unhooked. Ease my way down. All right. Starting now. All right, so you got a boulder in front of you. You want to go to go passenger slightly. How was that? <laughs> it was quite interesting. It was almost like the recovery that we did on the Arizona Strip, actually, just right over there, where we were in that Grand Cherokee with the airbags all the way up and we were bouncing the whole way. <laughs> but it was a lot smoother. <laughs> well, we got the rig down in one you piece. Got her done. Oh, battery's done. Yeah. Oh, it just four. No all right. That's where Lizzie was. And here she is now. Oh boy. Well, My heart's calming cal down a little bit. This truck's seen a thing or two in its day. <laughs> awesome. There you go. So, so this you wasn't want? his truck. Uh, how do they this is fit? his truck. Yeah. Both of them. There you go. Yeah. Matt's yeah. Auto, thank you guys. Oh, appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we gotta get back. We're an hour late already. The Yankum tow point for a win today. This thing held the most of the weight of the vehicle. Two winch lines hooked up to it. These things are awesome. Check them out at yankumropes.com. An old banana and the old banana. I just got gifted some victory pies, so I'm gonna eat one of these because they're delicious. I did a great job picking vehicles today because it is hot now. It was not this morning and I didn't even think about it, but we got the AC and they are roasted. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Lizzie, what do you got? Well, we tried it the first way and that didn't work, so we did it the second way and that worked. And I was sweating bullets there for a minute, but I'm cooling down now. All right, well, that was an interesting job, Tom. Crazy steep incline, never seen anything like that before. That was way steeper than I thought it was from the pictures. I know the pictures never looked that good. I don't even know how it was staying there. It was like 60 something degrees crazy yeah we got it out of there that truck's gonna live to fight another battle we got him out thanks for watching got back to the yard and peanuts looking fresh did she just get groomed that's gonna last for all of five minutes yes